you can now add equipment to your games. That means that your player can increase their stats or attributes by equipping some items. Now, if you are new to this channel, this is RPG Playground and it's the easiest tool to create your own role-playing games. Just go to rpgplayground.com, register for free and start creating the game of your dreams. So, let's jump right in. But first remark that the equipment features are premium only. So make sure you buy the premium version so you can access these features. Now currently the premium version is still only $9, but this will increase soon. In a few days I will increase the price to $14, so make sure you buy it now because this is the cheapest that it will ever be. And with that said, let me show you the actual features. So if we pick up some items and then we go to the inventory, we can see here we have those items listed here. And we have a new tab called Equipment. Let's go there. So first up you see here a bunch of slots. Now these slots can be customized. So you can rename them, add some, remove some, it's up to you. And then at the bottom here we have some attributes and these things can be manipulated by the equipment. Now currently the attributes are hard coded so you cannot change them yet but I have plans to allow that in the future. Now let's go back to inventory and equip some items. So this one will add two agility, then we have a leather cap actually does nothing, then some fighting gloves that increases strength and then a necklace of healing that will increase the max health. So if you see here we have 50 max health right now, we equip it. And then you see we have 60 and we can unequip it again and back to 50. So that is how it works. And if we go to equipment, then here you can see which slots are filled up by items. And also here the attributes are increased of course. Now what kind of effect do these attributes have? Well, if we go to our hero properties, let's click on the hero and we look at the behaviors. So we have walkability with a max speed of four. If we increase the agility, then this max speed will also be increased. Then we have health and death, so the max health will of course increase with our equipment. And then we have swing weapon ability. The strength attribute will increase the hit damage and the agility attribute will actually lower the cooldown time. So that is a way on how to upgrade your hero. Now remark that these influences on the behavior are also hard coded. So I also plan to expose that one to you guys in the far future because we first need some advanced actions to be able to do that. Now let's go to the items. So we go here, we open data. And then here you see the items. Let's just go all the way down and pick the necklace of healing to see what has been added here. So first up, I added a description. So you can fill in a description and that will show in the inventory dialog. And next up, we have an equipment slot. So this one is neck, but you can of course choose any equipment slot here. A special one is a consume. This is for example for potions. So currently the health potions are equipped in the consume slot because you will actually consume it and it will be gone. And then if you equip it or if you consume it, then we can have two effects here. So the normal effect and then effect two. Here you can decide which attribute it manipulates. And then here you have the effect amount. Of course, this thing can be negative if you want to make it negative. And that's it for the items. Now let's go further down. You can see here we have some equipment slots. So these can all be customized. You can delete them or you can even add a new one. So let's add a new one called ears. And if we go up, we have some earrings here, golden earrings. You can see equipment slots and then we can select our new slot ears here. So that's what you can do with the items. Now, this feature wouldn't be complete without any actions, of course. So let's take a look at that. But first, please do me a favor and like this video and make sure you're subscribed to this channel because it really helps me out a lot. So thank you for that. Now, let's go to the actions. Let's add a new character here and we can manipulate the actions for when the hero touches this actor. Let's remove some and then insert an action. Now the equipment is all 
on the hero and then of course the items are still here but if we go down a bit and you can see that I added all these attribute actions and these are the attributes like health, max health, strength and agility that you can manipulate so you can increase it, decrease it or you can run checks on them. This is to further customize how your game behaves of course. And if we go a bit further down, then here you can see that there are three equip actions. So you can equip an item and equip it, or you can also see if the hero has a certain item currently equipped. So let's select the first one and let's give the hero the necklace of strength. Okay. Let's try this one. So we go to this character. We now lost the necklace of healing and we actually gained the necklace of strength. So let's check our equipment. Here you have the necklace of strength. But remark that we actually don't have it in our inventory. So this basically means you can equip certain items without the hero needing any inventory. If you do want it in the inventory, of course, first add the item to the inventory and then equip it. But this way it gives you more flexibility. So these are all the features that I did implement this time. But we can also take a look at the things that are still to come. So you can see here our roadmap. And the next thing that I will implement is add damage types and defense against it. That is because currently we're not able to equip some defensive items like armor and things like that. So first up, I will add some damage types and then I will change some items so they will actually have defense against it. And then here on the left, we also see change melee weapons. So currently you cannot equip extra weapons. So that is also on my list of still to do. And if we go all the way down here, you can see the last thing and that is customized character stats. So as I said, these are currently hard coded, but it would be nice if you would be able to customize them, rename them or add some of your own. So that is also still on the list of to do. And that is all for this release, so I hope you really like these new features. And of course, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and please go create the game of your dreams. See you next time, bye.